Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Talisha, also known as Creativity by T, and I also go by that name on Instagram, so you can follow me over there if you'd like. Thank you for stopping by and thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my older subscribers for sticking with me. Today I am going to go over quite a few new patterns that I picked up over the last few days, um, or should I say over the last few sales. I have a hard time resisting so I did get some more but with a purpose and I also picked up a couple of new cuts of fabric uh, as I've said previously I do need some wovens and I do have plans for those woven so I'm going to share those with you towards the end so just stick with me and you will get to see all the goodies so for the first pattern that I picked up it is McCall's 79 Three, six. and this is a petite romper jumpsuit and belt and it's considered to be loose fitting I am not really sure how I would look in this particular romper um, but I'm gonna give it a try I've seen this on a couple of people I've seen it on smaller figured people I've seen it on larger figure people and it looked good on both so I think I may be safe with this I think I may want to go with like a denim or I don't know I <laughs> this model has on orange I don't think I want to do the orange because it kind of reminds me of a gel suit in that color but yeah I'm gonna give this a try it's also a learn to sew, sew pattern so it shouldn't be hard to sew up yeah it just looks like it has fronts backs and yeah it's not even a set in sleeve so this is going to be fairly simple front back and and a visible zipper but we we all know that i know how to do that and um for me i would end up cutting a large which is a 16 to 18 and it's oh wow only causes for two and a half yards of fabric at 60 inches but for 45 which is probably what i'm going to end up using it's going to be three and eight i also don't know if i want it to stop at the ankles like it is here i may want to bring it all the way down a little bit longer and my legs are pretty long so I might have to use just a little bit more fabric to get the desired look, but I, I think I'm going to sew this up pretty soon here, so well, we'll see. The next pattern that I picked up is a shirt dress pattern, and this is McCall's 6891. I have already had this pattern before, but the reason why I picked it up again is because I had the smaller sizes. So I have this in size 16 through 24 and the pattern that I have stops at size 14 because at that particular time of purchase, I could fit it. That is not the case anymore. So I do want to make view A, which is this top denim one. I may eventually make view C, which is the red, um, but right now what I want to make is view A. And I didn't realize that this pattern is such a fabric hog. I mean, it seems like all the shirt dresses are fabric hogs. <laughs> so for me, I'm going to have to cut a size 18 for even for view A. Size 18 is 4 and 3 eighths of 45 inch fabric, which is what I have. I picked up some fabric. Had no idea that it would be that much. I picked up three and a half thinking that that would be enough because I didn't read the pattern. And I'm going to have to get some more if I want to make that out of this. So the next one I picked up is a skirt pattern. It's a Mrs. Skirt and Petticoat pattern here. McCall 6706. I picked it up mainly for, I mean, because I like the pleats in it. So there's really no desired view. You know, there's a lot of contrast that goes along, along with this. If you look at the draw, line drawings in the back. But if I had to go with one, I do like the shorter one, which is what the model is wearing. But again, I picked it up because of the pleats. Next, I got McCall 7406. And this is a Mrs. Dress and Belt. 
and I picked it up for view C and D. C is what the model is wearing and D is this one right here where it kind of rounds out at the bottom and it wraps in the front but they all do. It's just a more obvious wrap. So I would end up sewing a size 20 actually and this one and it calls for crepes, chalets, kind of blend, stable knits. And this is also a learn to sew for fun. So this will come together pretty quickly. This next one is a shirt dress. And it's titled Mrs. Dresses. It calls for cotton blends, crepe, chalet, poly, cotton. And I picked it up for view B. View B is what the model's wearing. I think it's pretty casual and I think it's pretty cute. Here's the line drawing on the back for view B. So yeah, I really like shirt dresses as I've expressed before and so I picked that up and this is also a level two learn to sew. So I, I, I'm just assuming that most of these shirt dresses are considered easy patterns. Um, but I do like it. And I actually like the View C, which is the orange shirt dress. But at this particular time, the View B is what I want to cut. And so with this level two, Learn to Sew, it states that it's going to help you learn how to shape hems, sew shape hems, and sew collars and collar stands. Although I already know how to do that, but someone else may not. So on to the next. This is another Learn to Sew. And this is McCall's 8063. And this is a level one. And I picked it up for the pants that the model's wearing, which is View D. It's basically a drawstring pair of pants with tabs on the sides of the lower hem. And I'll show you a little closer so you can see the line drawing. You can probably see that. And here's a closer picture of it. The, the bottom of those pants. So, yeah, but the other views are basically just a straight drawstring pant and a patch pocket short. So, I mean, they're all useful, but like I said, I picked it up for the, the particular view D. And I could see making this in denim, like a lightweight denim. To go along with the drawstring, and learn to sew. I picked up another learn to sew pattern, which just for me just means that it's gonna be easy peasy. And this one has McCall's 7942. This is pattern right here, and it's misses and children's and girls tops, skirts, shorts, and pants. So I picked it up for the paper bag waist pants and it kind of reminds me of the last pattern that I just showed with the drawstring. The difference is this is paper bag with a drawstring. You can see there. Here's the line drawings on the back. and. It's basically what the model is wearing, except for hers are rolled up. Mine would be just the way that they're supposed to be. I don't really know that I would sew any of the shirts. They look very boxy on the line drawings, but the, it actually looks cute on the model, view A. So I don't know that, like I said, I don't know that I would sew it, but it is cute. However, view D is the paper bag. And, and that is what I'm gonna go for. So these patterns are very similar. The only difference is the waist and the tabs. So honestly, I 
think I would even combine these patterns. I would make the paper bag waist for the top of the pants and use the tabs on this one to create the look that this pan has. So, just a little mixing and matching. Then I picked up one of the uh, new spring releases from McCall's. It's McCall's 8174. And I was on the fence about this one at first, and I still am. I don't know that I love it. I have not yet seen, but I haven't searched, so please don't take offense to this, but I have not seen any, any samples of this dress that, that I just love yet. But I picked it up anyway. And I'm gonna try it out, but I think I'm only gonna make view B because I like I said I'm just not really feeling the other one. So view B is the spaghetti strap on right here. And here is the line drawing for view B right here. So I've noticed a little trend here with these patterns that I picked up. It seems like I have picked up a lot of level one, level two, learn the sews. Um, not really sure why. Maybe it's because it's spring and there's less details and cuts within the patterns, or fewer pattern pieces. But um, this one is McCall 7831. It's an overall pattern and it's titled Mrs. Jumpers and it calls for corduroy denim, cotton blends, velveteen and I think I would make view A and just put just one pocket on the front. I'm just, you know, I'm not really sure that I would look okay with this but I saw Jen from Jen's sewing room. She had made one or something I, I can't really remember off the top of my mind but I remember having this discussion with her because I think she made one and tried it on and I was thinking you know maybe I'll try that and then there's another young lady on YouTube I think her channel is life is but a dream she has sewn like a ton of York pinafore overalls and so I don't know I, just looking at them that kind of grew on me so I just figured I would start with this because it's a McCall's easy pattern and it was only two dollars on sale dollar 99 so i just figure i start with this and if i like it then i can make other ones um to go along with that collection and then i picked up mccall 7313 yeah mccall 7313 and i picked it up um basically because i've had this before but i need to cut out a different size so this is just restocking my stash it is also a learn to sew for fun this is a good pattern for summer and then the men the man in my life so I picked up another learn to sew and this was intentional with the learn to sew portion because it's men pants dress pants I made some dress pants before for my son, but the experience was awful with the, this, um, what is it called, zipper fly. So this specifically says that it's learn to sew a zipper fly. You know, a lot of my sewing consists of bag making, um, like a lot of crafting things, and then it went from the crafty things to making dresses and tops and things like that. I do make pants, but I don't use a zipper. I make skirts, but I don't make the skirts to have zipper flies. So this is an area that's um, something that I'm not familiar with. Like I said, that last experience I had was awful because I didn't know and I just kept studying, studying, and studying the directions and it got done. but. I mean, I had to keep looking and asking for help. So I just figure if this is considered a uh, level two, uh, learn to sew a fly zipper, then the instructions should be simple enough for me to be able to understand this moving forward into a more complex 
projects. So I intentionally picked this up as a learning experience and that will be for the hubs. The last pattern that I picked up was this McCall 6044. I shared this with my March plans, sewing plans. And this is the shirt pattern, or button down shirt pattern that I'm gonna use to make my husband's birthday shirt. So like I said before, I did a lot of research and I found that this is one of the most easiest and most straightforward pattern that you can use to make a button down shirt for a man. And um, I believe I saw this on the Island Socialist channel. I saw this from the sewing on the sewing reports, Jennifer from the sewing report. I saw this on her channel. I know Caroline from Caroline's Handmade Designs. She made a comment in the comments and said that this was one of her first patterns that she sewn for men and it, she was very successful with that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm gonna be actually cutting into this very soon. But if you notice, I had three of them and there's a reason for that. I have two of the larger sizes, which is what my husband would wear because he's a 48 across the chest and they're extra large through XXL. But I picked up two of them because I had to go to several Joann's to get this size. So it must be super popular. Um, they only have the smaller sizes in the drawer. And I figured, you know what, if something happened to this pattern, you know, and I needed it, then I want to make sure I have another one. So I just picked up two because they were only $1.99. And then I picked one of the smaller sizes up because my oldest son would fit into the smaller size range. And I would like to make him a shirt as well eventually. And since they were on sale, I just figured I'd get it, and when I get to it, I get to it. So that is all for the patterns that I picked up. I think that was a pretty good selection. None of them are very difficult, and I could whip them up really quickly. So for the first cut of fabric that I picked up, it is this fabric right here. It is a woven cotton, and it has cheetah prints or leopard prints on here and the gold that's inside of the cheetah print is metallic it's like shiny I don't know if it's picking up on the camera but this is cute I wanted to make that shirt dress out of that I don't have enough fabric I only have three and a half yards of this so I would either have to go back and get some more or just change what I'm gonna make and I might just change what I'm gonna make and then for the second cut of fabric that's woven that I picked up is this, the lemons. I love it. And I think I only have three and a half yards of this as well. So my idea of making shirt dresses with these has gone in a different direction. So I'll just probably just make a different type style of dress um, because of that. Also, um, I did pick these up from Hobby Lobby. I don't have not gone there in quite some time and other than the 99 cent sale uh, for simplicity. That was the first time I had gone there in a very long time and I went straight to the um, patterns and so this is my first time fabric shopping in there in a very long time. But here's the deal. I tried to use the little 40% off coupon that's always on Hobby Lobby's app. No, no, no. No more. No more of that. They took the coupon away. So as of February 28th, there's no more coupon for Hobby Lobby. You have to just go with the sale price. And if these are not on sale, you cannot use the coupon. You have to pay full price. So when I originally went, this was, I believe, $9.99 a yard or something like that. Um, no, not doing that. You know, I just thought I could use my coupon. And they were like, no. But then it was like a Friday or Saturday that I went and I knew that the sale would be starting again 
went on Monday when they reopened with 30% off. So I actually left this at the store and went back and got it the following week where I could get my percentage off. Yes, I'm trying to be frugal. And um, yeah, so I just thought I'd give you share that information. If you did not know, Hobby Lobby no longer has their regular 40% off coupon that they have always had for years on their app. Either you take the sale price from their weekly sales or you have to pay the regular price. So if you didn't know, now you know. All right, thank you so much for watching. That is it for my haul and my couple of new fabrics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not done so already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click the like button and hit the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video and I do upload weekly. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!